Guys, I know what it feels like to have stiff and inflexible hips. So I wanted to share with you today one of our favorite stretches that Josh and I have used throughout our entire flexibility journeys to get our hips more open, to stretch these big thigh muscles, the adductors. Being flexible in this area is so important, whether you're doing squats to get stronger, you're working on your pancake to get more flexible for calisthenics or for whatever activity that you enjoy doing, or you just wanna sit cross-legged comfortably. You gotta be flexible. So without further ado, the stretch of the day is the butterfly stretch or the tailor pose. And we really like this stretch because it scales from someone who's just starting their flexibility journey to someone who's already very flexible. Anyone can gain from this stretch. Now I'm sure a lot of you have done this stretch before in gym class where you grab onto your feet and you try and flap your wings. Well, this is distinctly not that butterfly. We're gonna do it in a very specific way. So follow along with me, I'm gonna walk you through it. Let's go. The key to a good butterfly stretch is having the right setup. So number one, we're gonna sit up against a wall and make sure your hips are all the way against the wall so you can sit nice and upright. Number two, we're always gonna try and get the heels as close to the hips as possible. And what you'll find is this will get better over time. Number three is finding the right progression for you. So if you're a little less flexible, you're gonna wanna prop your hips up off the ground. Once you feel comfortable there, then you can lower that to try and sit flat on the ground. And eventually, if you gain a lot of flexibility, you can actually place something between your feet to space your feet out, and that's gonna be the hardest progression. And finally, the last piece of setup is we're gonna use weight because sometimes getting enough leverage to push your knees down is just not realistic. So we need something to assist us pushing our knees down to get the right stretch. So find some weights that allow you to go deeper into this stretch than otherwise, but don't go too heavy because your body might actually fight back and not allow you to stretch as deep as possible. So experiment with it. If you want more information about how to tell if you're stretching hard enough, I made a whole video about it. It's in the description box, go check it out. That's it for the setup. However, there's one last tip I wanna give you before we get started on the stretch. And it's something that I wish I would've learned way earlier in my journey. And that is how to contract your glutes or these muscles on the, the back side of the hip to actually create more space in your butterfly. So we're gonna do a quick exercise to do this. You're just gonna get set up in your butterfly. You're gonna place your hands underneath your knees and then you're going to try to push down with your knees as you pull up with your hands, creating an isometric contraction or just no movement but a lot of work. And I want you to feel those muscles turn on on the back side of the hips. That's how you contract your glutes and we're gonna use that in our stretch. The other option is you can place something under your knees and press against those. Now, for the stretch, we're gonna do three different parts to the same stretch. We're gonna start out by placing those weights on the knees, and the first step is actually lifting the weights against gravity, and you can add a little bit of push down to give you even more resistance. But we're gonna lift the knees up for three to five seconds. Then we're gonna slowly lower back down for another three to five seconds, all the way until you max out your range of motion and you feel a deep stretch. And then part three is where we're going to actually try to deepen the stretch by turning on those glute muscles we talked about earlier and driving the knees towards the ground. So you're pushing with the weights, you're pushing with your hands, and you're pulling with your glutes all in an effort to try to get your knees as close to the ground as possible. That all is one rep. You'll wanna do anywhere from five to 10 reps at a time. And you can even do multiple sets, two to three sets in a workout. That's it for the butterfly stretch. You should be doing it two times a week if you wanna make some really good progress. And also, you could hop in it daily, but just don't do it quite as intensely, just to remind your body that you want to have that range of motion. Comment below what stretch or exercise you want a deep dive on like this video. And don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, check out all the links, and see you next time.